Yep, Garrett, the Lord is not pleased with you. He don't like you. My ancestors came to me in a dream, Garrett, because they up there with the Lord. The Lord told the ancestors to tell me to tell you, keep his name out your lying lips, Garrett. Your tongue is a restless evil. You say crazy shit and you do crazy things just to get some free pups. And God don't like it and he don't like you and we don't like you. We think you are a disgusting human being and your wife is freaking slow. That's all I can say. She's been on here too many times to allow you to let you keep doing the this shit you've been doing. It's too early for me to start going in in with bad language. We gon' I'm gonna try not to do it. What we talking about? What's up, True Feelings family? How you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. And if you do, welcome to the family. If you leave a comment, I thank you. I appreciate them. I think I need to let people know who's new and who's old. If you try to contact me on Facebook, because uh, I get all these little dings like friend requests on Facebook and on what's that other shit, um, IG, Instagram. I don't mess around over there, y'all. When I go into it, I'm just scrolling just to see just looking but i don't post i don't do shit so if that's what you're doing and you're doing it please don't think i'm ignoring you i just don't, i'm not on social media sites like that i ain't got time for all that just thought i'd put that out there for the new the old and the people just peeking the hell through now let's just get the devil out the way and we all know who the devil is the devil is gary gary thinks he's suing and everything in the name of god and he is not sir you are messing with the devil god is not pleased with anything that you are doing what garrett is doing see here's the shit that don't make sense to me and i don't know if they just on here playing with us garrett and danielle could very well just be on here playing and they could be playing with the network just trying to keep getting them damn checks keep going to find women in damn brazil there's brazilian women in fucking America so I know you can find you one in America so he's never met this woman yet in person he don't know the family member he don't know the mama like he don't know nobody but yet he gonna take his ass up there and he think because the Lord the devil told you I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna use the Lord and disrespect him the devil told him to go get a ring Okay, and go propose to this girl because in Garrett's world, once he's engaged to you, then that is a green light for him to get some free puss. That's what he's doing it for. That's how he did it with Roberta. Once he put that ring on, then he feels like he can go ahead and do the hanky panky. And sir, that's not what the Bible says. That's why I'm saying what you're believing in is what the devil saying. You're not with the Lord, and I'm not gonna let you disrespect him on my channel, so I'm not gonna do it, sir. You're an asshole. And Danielle is behaving. Girl, if this ain't you, I apologize. But if this is you, I mean every word I'm saying. Danielle is behaving like a pathetic little peasant. That's what she is. She is behaving like a pathetic little peasant peasant she could tell her sister-in-law how she feel about the whole situation she ain't with it she think it's too soon but when she get in front of garrett she sit and think she said i think it's too soon no bitch you said it's too soon you don't want to do it you're not with the shit so i don't know why you just can't tell garrett knock it off like, I really don't understand why you can't tell him to knock it off. Were you dumb enough to divorce him and not get something in writing that if things went fucked up, you don't get anything? Like, what, 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 what? Because I think he got you, uh, I think he got you by your balls. Can you not leave? Because you ain't got nothing to leave to, no money. Like, what's the problem, Danielle, if you don't want to do it? I'm just curious. Danielle, I hate to break it to you, baby, but your husband is not attracted to you. He hasn't been attracted to you in a very long time time i don't know how long it's been since y'all did it or, or what what you guys got going on i don't live in your house i'm not i'm not a fly on the wall so i don't know what it is for you guys intimate moments even if you have them because it seems like he spent a whole lot of time trying to find a whole nother woman and he don't mind spending the money going flying into mexico because he's supposed to be going to mexico and then he gonna fly them in from brazil the problem is 
something going on with the visa. Brazil won't let them in. Mexico won't let them in. It's an issue. But at some point, they're going to meet up because you see them. But like I said, Garrett is not attracted to her. And Garrett, nothing's a blessing because Danielle said, well, what if it don't work out? You know how things went with Roberta. And I just don't want to go through that shit again. So what if it don't work out? He said, well, if it don't work out, will it still be a blessing? No, that's the devil. You are the devil. Nothing is a blessing. You are not blessed. You are cursed by the devil, sir. You are cursed by the devil. There's no God in your lying, deceitful lips. You've got a restless, your tongue is a restless evil, sir. If that's in the Bible. Look it up. Your tongue is a restless evil. And we can't, we don't like you. The Lord is not pleased. Now I think we're done with the devil. Let's talk about the Davis family. Didn't I tell you last week, Danielle is about to get the hell up out of there. Because they're trying to talk this girl into marrying a whole nother female and she's not with it. She's barely getting used to these two people. What I... He said they've been together for two years. God, was it? has it been two years to me? I thought it was just a year. Because I feel like when we saw them on the show last week, well, yeah, the girl was pregnant nine months. Yeah, I, I guess it could be two years. But Danielle says she got to go find herself. His ass just heard a commotion. She was taking plants and packing all her shit. She said she was going. She ain't with this shit no more. Because he already knew when they had the conversation with her before. That she didn't want to take on a whole nother wife. But at the same time, she kind of shitty for doing what she did it and how she did it. Because they told her that from the very beginning, Danielle. I remember they told you, you're not going to be the last one. They want to grow their family. He said he wanted a couple of more people to come into the fold. So it's not like you didn't know that. But it is absolutely your right to say, you know what, well, fuck it. I tried it for two years and I don't want to be in it. So I'm out. So you're apt. Yeah, it's your right to do that. But you didn't have to break up with all the rest of the bitches in a text. Like, you just broke up with they ass in a text. It's like, screw all this shit. I am blame you because them little old witches would have tried to talk you into it. You see, uh, Mr. Mr. Man is still wearing that little, that little, what is that little vampire necklace with that little black eye on it and shit. I think it just has little powers and shit to make people do shit. But Danielle didn't get to look at it. That's why she left. She is not hypnotized by that necklace or the D any longer. She is no longer hypnotized by the... Yep, it's done. She said, the thrill is gone, bitch. The thrill is gone. Now I can remember this couple's name because I wrote the shit down. Ashley and Shane. Ashley is, um, this is not her husband Shane's idea. He's pretty much of a sap. He don't give a shit. He's a little simp. Gonna let her walk all over his ass. He don't care. He just wants her to be happy. Happy life. Happy wife. So he just let her do whatever she want to do as long as she ain't bringing another penis in the fold. So he okay with the puss coming in. But he still don't like it because the girl don't like his ass. At least that's how we feeling. So they meet up with her. The girl's name is Grace. And she's a cute girl. She's like an attractive, uh, you know, she's a cute girl. Um, but the thing is, she met, she was at their wedding. I don't know if they slept together before the wedding. After, Like, I don't know. But the girl was at their wedding. So, like, yeah, I need to hear more. Maybe I just missed some shit and just didn't care. So Shane started to ask this girl. This brought some questions. He wanted to know a little bit more about her ass and what she do. She said she is a, a, a spiritual counselor or some shit like that. She didn't go to school for none of it. Spiritual guidance. She communicates with the universe or some shit like that. She just was saying some way out shit that... Um, all of a sudden, Miss Ashley wasn't agreeing with. She felt like this girl was disrespecting her husband. And as I went back and watched it for the second time, I said, okay, where, and if you guys watched it, I didn't see anything or hear anything that says she disrespected Shane. I didn't. He asked her what the hell she was doing and she told him, like, I don't get it. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear the disrespect. Maybe I missed it. But, uh, oh, Ashley is looking at her a little sideways now. So she felt like she disrespected her husband. But, like I said, I don't know where the disrespect came in. I didn't see it. Didn't hear it. Probably missed it. Really don't give a shit about the couple just yet.
Last is Nyla and Naeem. We still in the same position we was in last week with Mama. Not giving a shit about what they doing. Just a little bit concerned. Still think the shit is gross. So we still there. But as I'm watching this shit, I feel like there is something going on between the son and the mother. He's pretty much disrespectful. If you watch the show, he's disrespectful the way he responds and the way she talks. The way he talks to her, his mother. Because, I'm sorry. If you're telling your mom some shit like this, yes, she's going to look at it a little sideways and she's going to have her opinion. That's your mom. Don't disrespect it. So I just, I just felt like he was being a little disrespectful how he was coming at her. But I feel like there's something there because they don't really vibe. And I don't know what that's about, but I'd like to know what that's about. Is anybody catching that besides me? I feel like their relationship ain't that great or I don't know it just don't feel I don't know I feel like he feel a way about his mama am I the only one seeing that now I'm gonna end it with this that girl's wig was stressing me out because I'm just sitting there thinking bitch I know your head is hot I saw you scratching it I bought me one of them little low wigs before little twist wigs that shit was hot and itchy she mm mm I don't like it. It's too wiggy. It's reminded me of the lion from the Wizard of Oz. I want her to take it off. I want her to take it off. It just looks heavy and hot. I don't like it. I need her to get rid of it. It's just too much. Um, you know how I feel about them damn wigs. I just don't like it. She looked like the mean old lion from Wizard of Oz. I ain't with it. That's it. That's all. I ain't got nothing else to give you. I'll see you guys with something else later on. Y'all, tomorrow, I don't know. I might do something. A little personal story. A little update on some shit. Um... Because I feel like I want to have a conversation with y'all. Lots been going on. And I just want to update you if you give a shit. Anyway, don't be an asshole, y'all. Bye.